Hello, welcome, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video all about the options process. It's a great shame we can't invite you into school this year to have this conversation face to face and give you the opportunity to meet the heads of department and the curriculum leaders and the subject specialists who could talk to you about those subjects. But I hope this and the other videos will help fill in some of those gaps for you. Key Stage 4 is a really exciting time. It's the first opportunity that students get to start to tailor their educational experience toward their own future ambitions and goals and pathways. We aim to give students a really broad and engaging Key Stage 4 curriculum where they have a good range of choices and a good range of subjects, but ultimately they're able to make progress towards their future aims and ambitions and we can give them qualifications that will open those doors and enable them to follow those pathways. Some schools opt in year eight, some in year nine. We choose to opt in year eight so that we can offer a really broad options process. We can offer a really wide spread of subjects and students can continue to, to access a broad curriculum through years nine, 10 and 11, while still being able to be really successful in all of the subjects that they study. That enables them to, to have a really exciting set of choices when they leave school at 16, depending on the pathways they choose to follow and I keep mentioning this and of course there are a number of different routes once students finish their compulsory education at the age of 18 and some choices that they can make at 16. So when they finish at BSCA they may choose to go on to college or they may choose to, to go and do some other education and training around apprenticeships or similar courses and then once we get past 18 they may choose to go to university. They may choose to, to pursue a higher order apprenticeship, a higher level apprenticeship, or they might choose to move into employment. And whichever pathway they've got their mind on and whichever pathway they want to pursue, it's important that they're following a curriculum that enables them to access that pathway as best as possible. So there's a few things that we need to consider. Firstly, there is the core curriculum. This is a group of subjects that every single student will study for the duration of Key Stage 4. Every student studies English, Maths and Science. They study a Maths GCSE, they study a GCSE in English Language and English Literature, and they study what's called the Double Award in Science. Now that's two GCSEs which contain content from Biology, Chemistry and Physics. But it's one complete qualification that is worth two GCSEs. Students will also do Core PE and Core RE. Those two subjects are not examination subjects, but we think they're a really important part of a broad curriculum. It's really important that students get access to those subjects no matter what they choose. They then have some choices that they can make. The vast majority of students will be making a choice then for a humanities subject, either history or geography. Humanities are a really important part of a broad curriculum, and so that's why we make that choice a compulsory option for the vast majority of students. There are a small number of students who, for a number of reasons, would struggle to access a GCSE in history or geography, and they would do travel and tourism instead. But for almost all students, there is a requirement to choose either history or geography. And then students have three further options. So they have three more subjects that they are going to study. And those subjects, students have a completely open choice over. They are going to pick five subjects from a list of about 20 subjects that are available to them. They're going to put those five choices in rank order. So their first choice, second choice, third choice, fourth choice and fifth choice. And then we will do our very, very best to give students three out of that five. We can't guarantee first choices, we can't guarantee second choices, but we will do our very best to make sure that everybody gets three out of the five subjects that they pick. There are a couple of subjects that are not available to everybody, namely triple science, where you study three separate sciences, biology, physics and chemistry, and get a separate GCSE in each, and computer science. Those two subjects are particularly academic. They're particularly for students who are looking at going on to further in higher education, A-levels and perhaps university in those particular subjects. And so those subjects will only be available to students who've got higher grades at the moment because you need a really, really excellent grounding in things like maths and science in order to be able to study those subjects. However, if you really, really want to study one of those subjects and it isn't on your options form, please come and speak to us. I'm very happy to have that conversation because I want everybody to be able to access the options that they wish to. There's then a little bit about the process. Let me talk to you about a bit, a bit about what's gonna happen now. So this week, 
Uh, when I'm recording this video, year eights are going to have their assembly where I'm going to talk them about the process. I'm going to talk to them about how to make choices, talk to them about some of the key questions they need to ask themselves when they're picking their subjects. And they're going to get an options booklet, an electronic version of which is also available for you to download on this website and access to all the videos. So they're also going to get all of that information and then they're going to get their options form. Now their options form is bespoke to them. So it's got their name and their form on. So it's really important they look after that. Over the Christmas holidays, would really like it if you can sit down with your child, read through the options booklet, have a look at some of the other information, watch some of the videos online here, as well as going and investigating what, what they might want to do, what pathways they might want to follow in future. So that when they come back in January, they have already completed that options form and you have signed it. In January, every single year eight will have an interview, an options interview with a senior member of staff, either one of the senior leadership team or one of our curriculum leaders or perhaps a head of year. Those options interviews are to make sure that the students are making really good choices. They're not making choices for the wrong reasons. They're to make sure that students are picking appropriate courses based on the pathways they want to pursue. So if they want to go to university, are they picking the sort of subjects that are going to give us access to those courses in the future? And they'll make sure that students are picking subjects where they can be really, really successful. If you wish to attend those options interviews, you're very welcome to. You'll have to do so remotely, but we can give you a call and you can join on speakerphone into those conversations so that you are able to feed into that, particularly if you want to make sure that your students don't change their minds or you're concerned about the, the direction that those might go in. Be a really exciting conversation. We'll also talk a little bit about future aspirations and future career options and those kind of things at those interviews. Once that's done, those options forms will be signed off. They'll come back to me and I'll go and begin the, the kind of process in the background. If you're unable to attend those interviews, however, you, you, uh, we, we, off the back of that interview, we decide to make a change to one of the, the child's choices. We will let you know and we'll speak to you on the phone so that you're aware of that. Once students have picked those subjects, we'll then spend some time putting those into option blocks in order to give the maximum number of students access to the maximum number of their choices. But it is a possibility that some options will be oversubscribed and we won't be able to offer them to everybody. It might be that some options are limited because of the number of spaces, the number of classrooms where we can teach those specialist subjects. And so in those situations, we will have to make decisions about which students are going to follow those courses. And we will often look at students uh, data in those subjects to help. So we might look at what their steps to success scores look like. Are these subjects where these students are demonstrating that they really want to be determined to succeed? And those students are more likely to be prioritised when we are picking students in, in oversubscribed subjects. So steps to success and attendance and those sort of things will really matter. It is important that students pick those choices for all the right reasons. They need to pick subjects which they're good at, where they feel they can be successful and which they enjoy studying. It is important not to pick subjects based on the teacher because you don't know who your teacher might be moving forward and it might be you pick because you really like your history teacher but then you have a different history teacher in year nine. Or picking for, because of where your friends are because it may well be that although your friends are all doing the same subject they're not going to end up doing it at the same time as you. So you might pick a subject that you're not very keen on because your friends are doing it and then find your friends are in a different class anyway and you're not with your friends. And that would be a, a great shame and you've missed the opportunity then to pick a subject which you would be successful and would enjoy studying. So it is important to think about where you'll be successful, what are you gonna enjoy studying and what are gonna open the doors to the pathways and the things that you want to do when you leave school. Once we've picked those options, we'll, towards the end of the year, we'll let students know which options they've been allocated so that they know which subjects they're going to be studying. And then we'll have an opportunity in, in the new year, once we get into September and October, students will get the opportunity to obviously start studying those subjects. And if there are serious concerns about the subjects that they're studying, we will look at an, an, an application to change options process. However, at that point, the options and the choices become very limited because the only places where students will be able to move to are classes with space. So all of those oversubscribed subjects wouldn't be an option at that stage. So it's really important that students try and make the right choices in the first place. 
So if they're not sure if a subject is right for them, going to speak to the curriculum leader, going to speak to their teachers, coming to speak to me or their head of year, and trying to make really great choices in the first instance. Because although it is possible to change options once you start in year nine, it is very difficult. You end up behind, you're playing catch up, and you don't have access to all of the subjects, only the ones which have spaces in the same block as the one you want to leave. So what happens next? Well, You've watched this video all the way to this point, well done. On this web page, again, you've got a, an electronic copy of the options booklet that your child has, and there are lots of other videos from all of the different subjects that students can study, giving them a bit more information about those subjects. Please take time to watch those videos. Please take time to read the options booklet with your son or daughter, and then please make sure that by the end of the Christmas holidays, when they're coming back in January, they've got a completed options form that they can bring to that options interview. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch with me, with their form tutor, with their head of year, uh, or with curriculum leaders whose email addresses are all in the options booklet if it's a particular question about a subject. Um, it's really exciting. I love this time of year. The options interviews are one of my favourite things to do because I love talking about students about their aspirations and what they want to do and why they're picking subjects. It's brilliant. So please engage in that process. Have a brilliant Christmas uh, and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch the video.